Hi everyone, it's Jessica and this video is going to be my plan with me and my personal planner inserts and the inserts that I'm using this week are these So Much Crafting Week on 4 page inserts and instead of using a sticker kit in these inserts, I decided to pull together a few different sheets that I had, I had gotten in different grab bags and just random sheets that I had lying around. So I'm starting off with the bottom washi. This washi is a really gorgeous one from pretty packages and it does have some gold foiling on it which I thought suited the theme of this week quite well and I decided to go with the week on four pages because I did have it, some full boxes that I wanted to use this week since they were quite reminiscent of New Year's and new beginnings and that sort of thing so that's mainly the reason why I decided to go with the week on four pages. I think I'm going to play around and try out the week on four pages in January and then the week on two pages in February and see which one I like better. I'm just going down and putting down some of the full boxes. These are the foiled full boxes from Simply Watercolor Co. and I did get them in a grab bag so I thought this would be perfect for the week of New Year's and New Year's Eve. And I did use a similar kit from Cross Press that has the same clip art in my Erin Condren for this week so it's kind of nice that they both coordinate and match a little bit and I'm just kind of playing around with the spacing since this is my first time working with these inserts and I just pulled in a little thing from the Crest Press kit and I'm using that to mark my work schedule and I'm putting those down where the header for the second box would normally go. And I did bring the full boxes down a little bit like I like to do in my Erin Condren as well, mainly because the bottom washi wouldn't have filled up the entire space at the bottom. And I didn't really want to layer two different washies at the bottom. That just would have been a huge waste of space, I think. So that's why I brought the full boxes down a little bit. And that leaves me a little bit more room in one of those boxes to add in a few more things. And I just added in some heart stickers on top of the little things to cover up the little things icon. And the way I decided to set up this week is instead of using any sort of today or to-do headers, I'm using these gold foil headers from Rose Colored Days. And I'm pulling in some checklists, again, from one of these Simply Gilded Misfit grab bag that I had gotten a little while ago. And then I'm marking down kind of one big thing that I did that day with some little icons. Most of those are from the Crest Press Kit as well. So... Just marking down the one big event, but this week wasn't too busy because everyone, it's still, it's in between holidays, so not too much going on, but I did have a lot of to-dos, which is why I felt like I needed the to-do list. And Wednesday, instead of a to-do list, because I spent the day in a lot of meetings, so I'm using these Sesame little hexagon stickers to mark down the different meetings that I had, and I thought it'd be nice because I'd be able to write in the times inside. And this is where I start running into some trouble with the So Much Crafting paper. Um, just even peeling up these tiny little stickers definitely still peeled up the page, so... I do struggle quite a bit with the spacing and redoing them until I'm happy with it. I definitely run into a lot more issues further on in the video that you'll see, but um, definitely have learned my lesson to be really, really careful with the sticker placement because once it's down, it's not coming back up without ripping up the page. And um, anyway, so that was just the beginning of my struggles, but I do finally get the spacing how I want it. So. That is nice. And then I go in the bottom box and I actually leave that blank for now just because I didn't have work that day and the meetings pretty much took up the entire day in between the meetings and random errands. So I'm going to leave that blank for the time being. Here you see me trying out a variety of different stickers to see how the spacing would work and eventually I do settle on using one of the Mobby stickers from I think it's the like neutral sticker pack but it just says happiness on it because even though I was really
And then moving on to Thursday, I had already put down one of the gold foil headers from Rose Colored Days, and I'm just following that up with another checklist for the day. And the last thing that I wanted to mark for that day is that I took care of some bills. And then on Friday, same thing, the gold foil header, another checklist, and I did do a little bit of shopping after work on Friday, so that's what I marked. And both of those little icons are from the Crest Press kit. And then for the weekend, this is really where you start to see me struggle quite a lot with the placement of stickers and not being able to peel them up. So I started off again with a gold foil header and then the checklist, but then I decided I didn't need all of those hearts on the checklist and I needed a little bit more space down at the bottom so I tried peeling it up just a little bit to put down a half box and then I decided I didn't really want the stickers to be running into each other so I'm peeling up the entire thing and cutting off one of the hearts and putting it back down and I can tell you honestly that half of the sticker doesn't really go back down just because like there's already you know paper stuck to it so it's not really sticky anymore but that was pretty bad and then I had learned my lesson for Sunday so I cut off the little hearts beforehand um, but then I ran into a problem with the placement of the stickers towards the bottom so basically I wanted the happy new year sticker but I also wanted to mark that on Sunday I'd be spending some time at Starbucks getting some stuff done so instead of doing two half boxes next to each other I went ahead and I peeled up the half box that I already put down for Saturday which of course peeled up that entire section but um, I covered it up with the happy new year sticker and that happy new year sticker was from one of the freebies from my newest addiction <laughs> So I covered up most of the damage with that and then I put down the other half box on s Sunday instead and surprisingly it did still stick. It was pretty much the edges were still a little bit sticky but the entire middle section would not have like stuck at all. But anyway, that is that. That's done and it's over and I'm fairly happy with the end result. But I put down a little laptop sticker from Crest Press and then I did cut off another hard for the checklist on Sunday since I knew that spacing would work out a little bit better. So now I'm just going back in and finishing up the sidebar. I had the last full box from the Simply Watercolor Co. sheet that I put at the very bottom and I'm just playing around with the different spacing of stickers that I had because I knew better than to put them down and then wind up changing my mind again. So um, all I do is I layer a Sessa V Making Memories sticker above one of the Crest Press half boxes and then I put down a quote sticker at the bottom from Mombi. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a look at the finished spread. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great new year. Bye!